let discuss elimination method as we see the word elimination is used it's mean we have to eliminate one of these two variable either you have to cancel x or you have to cancel y the rule for cancellation is very simple the variable which you are going to cancel they both have the same coefficient the number attached with the variable in this that we can mark this this is the equation number one and it is equation number two the coefficient of x is three and the coefficient of x in equation number two is also three and the coefficient of y is seven and the coefficient of y in second equation is negative six so better we can remove or eliminate three because both have same uh, number same coefficient but to remove this to cancel it the sign must be opposite if we look at these the both sign are same both are positive they will be added because the same sign are added so right now this positive 3 so we need to change its sign so it's a positive 3 we will change negative change the sign of second equation this a negative it will become positive and this is the positive the sign current sign of this 4 is positive and we change it negative right now the signs are opposite so 3x minus 3x both will be cancelled 7y plus 6y it is equal to 13y or 17 minus 4 is also equal to 13 now it will become a single variable equation 13y because we have only y so 13y is equal to 13 13 will go on other side or you can divide both side by 13 and the 13 was a 13 so value of y is equal to 1 so this is the unique answer of y now right now we have to find the value of x so what you need to do you can substitute this value of y which is equal to 1 in any of these two equation either equation number 1 or equation number 2 so i'm going to put y is equal to 1 in equation number 1 you can place in equation number 2 as well so what is equation number 1 3x plus 7y is equal to 17 and now in the place of y i will plug in 1 and it is equal to 17 so 3x is a 7 is equal to 17 so 3x 17 7 will shift to the right hand side negative 7 and 3x is equal to 10 and your final answer is x is equal to 10 by 3 and it is 3 whole number 1 over 3 so you can say there are the unique answer of x x is equal to 3 whole number 1 over 3 and y is equal to 1 so these are two answer of this 